Britain builds more satellites than anywhere outside California, but in the past they've had to ship them abroad as far as New Zealand. Now they've got a spaceport just down the road. This is Cosmic Girl, once a passenger jet, now a rocket launch pad. It will take off from Newquay Airport with a 21-metre rocket slung under its wing, the first mission to put satellites into orbit from UK soil. In a previous life, this jumbo jet flew two and a half million passengers across the Atlantic. The seats have now been stripped out and the upper deck has been turned into mission control. After taking off from Newquay, Cosmic Girl will head to the drop zone off Ireland's south coast. She'll do laps around what's called the racetrack while engineers carry out final checks. Then, at 35,000 feet, the rocket will release, fire its engines and accelerate to 8,000 miles an hour, past Portugal and into space. Britain is already one of the biggest builders of satellites, but the government says having the first spaceport in Europe could be worth £3.8 billion to the economy over the next decade. Virgin Orbit has successfully launched satellites on four rockets from its California base, but that followed a test flight that failed, and the UK's Civil Aviation Authority has been cautious in giving the spaceport the go-ahead. It has taken months to get the paperwork signed off. The authorities had to check the blast zone of a fully fueled rocket blowing up, liaise with air traffic control on clearing the skies and assess the risk to shipping if anything falls from the skies. Now there's nine in all. Uh, one is looking at illegal fishing, human trafficking and so on. Another is testing out the possibility of making really expensive, very difficult to make on Earth, uh, super alloys and semiconductors. This is the kind of stuff that is now possible. And because the launch costs are coming down, it's much cheaper to reach space. Now once this has gone up, uh, Space Cornwall's hoping to launch uh, another rocket in around six months' time and that this will become routine. This race for space is taking on a whole new dimension.